That purple streak on the left side of the screen? Don't blink, it's easy to miss. That is Steve. The green lights on the right are the much more well-known and long understood northern lights, the aurora borealis. They're caused by glowing atoms in the upper atmosphere, electrified by cosmic rays. Steve is something quite different. There's a very, very intense, narrow stream of westward flowing ionized or charged gas. And it's flowing westward at maybe 300 or 400 kilometers in altitude. And it's flowing westward at about six or seven kilometers per second. And it's, it's also very hot, about 6,000 degrees Celsius. Professor Donovan really started to focus on Steve after seeing photos like these taken by amateur sky watchers in Canada who call themselves aurora chasers. Many had noticed a faint glowing streak in the sky before, but they used enhanced photographic techniques to actually see Steve. Then Swarm got involved. That's a European Space Agency project using three satellites that orbit through and measure the Earth's magnetic field. So that's the science of Steve, but the unusual name, chosen by the unscientifically trained Aurora Chasers, stuck. Steve is still just Steve. The community that we have is absolutely energized by the fact that they've been able to make contributions, real contributions to an actual scientific uh, research and, and bit of a breakthrough in this phenomena. The lights that ripple and glow in the night sky at high northern latitudes have long fascinated people. This is the view from above, from the International Space Station. Now, scientists and amateur aurora chasers alike are hoping that the viral popularity of Steve, something they discovered together, will cause even more of us to go out at night and look up and marvel. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.